Hello, my name is Teacher Bell and welcome to another tips, review, and tutorial. So for today, we will be discussing the newest extension, the Google Meet Breakout Rooms extensions. And I know I have a video tutorial on how you can manually create your breakout rooms in Google Meet, but this newest extension is really amazing because it automatically does that for you and you can still watch this if you don't want to use the breakout room extension so let's get started so three simple steps to set up breakout rooms in google meet so this is just these are just the three steps first we install the breakout room extension we set up and save the breakout rooms automatically and we will try to share the links to our students okay so the first thing we will need to do is to install the breakout rooms and i will put the link of this on the description below and make sure you are clicking the google meet breakout rooms with an icon that says letter b on a purple background if it's your first time it should say add to chrome on this one and it will pop up here on your browser now if you don't see it you can click on the puzzle piece at the right corner look for that icon and click the blue pin okay so it will be shown on your browser so once you are on this extension go to rooms and as you can see i have set up three breakout rooms already now let me just remove all this so i can show you how the links are auto generated for you so if you want to do if you want to remove the rooms just click on it and then click the red button at the top so by default you cannot remove the main room this is the default room or the main room so all you have to do is let's say you want to have three breakout rooms all you have to do is click this plus sign so and label it room one click another one room two and click another one room three okay and look at this part when i click the save it automatically generates a Google Meet link for us. Okay, so we don't have to manually open three Google Meets and copy the links. It creates the link for us. So this is what you will share to your students. So this is your main room, first room, second room, and third room. Okay, and save it. Now, if you will start your Google Meet, click on this Meet tab start with start class with google meet i'm trying to do the start class with google classroom but it's still not functional i think at this moment so let's start class with google meet and you have the option to just open your main room you have the option to open just the breakout rooms or open both so since we have four rooms one main room and the three breakout rooms four windows will open at the same time when we click open both so let's take a look at this there you go so one two three and four okay so it will open in order the first one on the left corner is always the main room and the rest are your breakout rooms and you don't even have to install other extensions like mute tab or the the dual less extension you don't have to install those because it will automatically um, position itself to fit your screen so there you go now let's go to the breakout room so i can show you the best part of this on the main you also have the option to broadcast yourself to all the google meet breakout rooms all at the same time if i 
turn on the microphone, I can broadcast myself all at the same time to all the rooms. So look at that. Okay, the mics are all turned on. So I can also do the same on my video. Once I click this, it will automatically turn on in all the rooms. So look at that. And if you just want to broadcast yourself to just one room, then you have to turn this off. And then go to the particular room where you want to broadcast yourself and just mute. I mean unmute the mic and just turn on the video and the speaker. Let's say you want to meet them on your Google Meet main room. So you can just go to your rooms, copy the link from here. And that's what you share probably in your class, um, Google Classroom. And once you are on your main room, you can just share the other links. So let's say some of students will go to room one. So just copy the link from room one and paste it here. So everybody go to room one, whoever belongs to room one, you go so here. What I usually do is come up with a list that I shared to them in the main room. So the names of this go to room one, room two, room three. Okay. And just share their individual links on the chat or you can share this Google slide to them and they just click on the link. Okay. So these are just things to remember. So always remember that the breakout rooms open in new windows. So make sure to open your slide presentation as well when you have opened those windows. And nicknames cannot be assigned. Once you open the breakout rooms using the extension, it opens on another window. So all four rooms open on another window. So as you can see, these are the four rooms. One, two, three, four. Another best part of this as well is all the windows are labeled accordingly so as you can see it says main and then room one room two and room three which is not a feature when we manually create our breakout rooms so if you look at your browser tabs okay um the previously opened browsers are not in any of these windows because these are new windows so if you have something to share, like a Google slide presentation, you have to open it okay, manually on the window where you want to present it. So I just, so I suggest you have to open the rooms, you have to open the breakout rooms first. So since this is my main room, okay, I'm going to open my presentation on this side. Now, if you have a different presentation for your first small group or room one, then you can also open it from here. Okay, the same here and here. And the features in Google Meet are the same when you present. Okay, it has the present mode at the bottom, so it's the same feature. So, a Chrome tab. Use the Chrome tab if you have audio on your presentation. So, look at this. There you go. Um, one thing that I would have wanted to be included in this um, Google Meet extension is I hope there is also a feature where you can broadcast your presentation simultaneously on the different rooms. So, it's easier, you know, when when you give those breakout room links to your students, they are already on their breakout rooms and then you just present your slides simultaneously to all rooms so you don't have to meet on the main room. That's just what I thought but uh, I'm just so happy with this breakout room. So 
thank you very much for watching if you have questions or comments or additional information please let us know on the comment section down below so some of our other teachers can also see it and we will have another episodes on the other features of the breakout rooms but for now let's focus on setting up the breakout rooms first okay so have a great day bye bye